Hi, we've had our Smitty built rooftop tent for about two and a half years. Uh, we go camping, you know, mostly through the late spring, summer, and early fall. Uh, we've taken it uh, all the way from Vancouver down to uh, Arizona, and um, probably about 55, 60 nights we've slept in it so far. And I want to tell you a little bit about it. Hi YouTube, welcome to Martha Oller's Misadventures, showcasing Canada's West Coast lifestyle, camping, off-roading, parks, and best of all friends. Thank you for joining us. So here you can see we've got it mounted up on top of our, our Jeep Wrangler. We've got the um, rhino rack, uh, rhino rack system that has mounted it. That has an internal frame that goes inside the fiberglass, and then on the front, those legs actually extend down and sit on top of the uh, roll bar. Um, we've also got an awning on the side here when we need either rain cover or or shelter from the sun. The tent has big open windows on all four sides. It goes up quickly, comes down quickly, not quite as quickly as we had hoped. It uh, probably takes close to 20 minutes, 25, and most of that is uh, fighting with the rain cover. So the rain cover is kind of a rubberized PVC cover and it's got uh, Velcro enclosures around the bottom and the Velcro is typically what takes forever. Um, I think if we had something like the Pioneer Rack, which is basically an entire shelf up there where you could stand, it might be a little quicker to uh, put up and take down, but it's still more efficient for us than doing a ground tent. And we use ground tents for probably 15 years prior to this, and every time you go to pick it up, regardless of where we stayed, it's always damp underneath, you have to let it dry, and of course if you've had some rain, uh, it becomes quite a pain in the neck to, uh, to refold and they never go back into the bag that they're shipped in. When we're traveling, this folds down into a little cube. Uh, it's about a foot high and about four feet by four feet. It sits on top of the, of the roof. Um, we've extended these bars here, so we pick up all three of these. Normally on the Jeep, um, the, the tent itself, the, the mounting bars underneath only pick up two of the mounts, and I wanted to make sure that we equally distribute all the weight. Papadini here. The last tent I owned was a green military surplus. It had a bit of a musty smell, but if you let it air out for three or four days, it's good. And take you for a quick tour of the tent. We have a beautiful ladder here, a little zip up window. This is a zip up window door. I'm going to take you inside now. As you can see, there's lots of room here for two full beds panoramic view out the windows. These windows um, both zip up um, for a, a privacy cover and also have a beautiful um, bug screen on here that does zip open if you need. As you can see here, 
As you can see, um, it has a more. Please stop banging the door. As you can see, there are aluminum poles that are the main structure of the tent. It's very high on the top, and there are two windows that can be opened. To make use of them, you have to take off the rain cover, which sits over top. So to use these windows up here, you need to remove the rain cover fly, but there's a couple of buckles that need to be undone from the outside. And when it's up on top of our Jeep, we can't actually reach them. So we pretty much don't take that rain fly off. Here you can see the beautiful panoramic view we have coming out the door of the tent. We've been lucky in that um, we've only had a couple of times where a little bit of, of uh, rainwater has permeated the tent and it's typically here and on the same side, the other side of the door and it just sort of wicks through the material, not enough to get the mattress wet, but enough that you can feel some moisture on the inside. And we've been uh, camping in some very strong rains and that's the only time we've seen a little bit of moisture. And what we've read is that if you soak and then let this material dry a couple of times, the weave actually tightens up. So Smitty Belt has built a really nice tent here. It's quite robust. It's quite structural. Um, we're very happy with it. The only challenge is that even though it's a quick opening tent, uh, on the last time we set this one up, it took 29 minutes. So it's not quite as fast as it could be. If you found today's video, oh, let's say remotely entertaining or marginally educational, 